Hello everyone. I'm Chantal Rickards joining you from London. My last full-time role was in Hollywood in Los Angeles where I was the chief executive of BAFTA. I particularly love drama documentary series, which is so popular on television at the moment. Real stories about real people, but told in a dramatic way. And recently I was watching the Chinese television series called Medal of the Republic, um, which is very interesting, has a blend of eight stories about eight different people from modern history. There's one particular episode that I really enjoyed. It's the story of Miss Tu Yu Yu, a Chinese scientist who won the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 2015 and was really exceptional. What I liked most about the programme was the blend of her professional life and her home life coming together. And you see that during all of this time, she created enormous changes in malarial research, which actually has benefited everybody around the world. I'm delighted to be able to talk today to director Jun Xiaolong is widely held to be China's most important television drama director. Uh, Chinese media once said that his directing experience represents the history of the development of Chinese TV drama itself, which is quite an accolade. Delighted to be here with him this morning. Director Jun, hello, welcome. Hello. I have watched some of the episodes and I'm really enjoying the work. Um, I love the breadth of the stories that you've got because there are so many different stories. So I, I think they're, they're beautiful. I, it's a very nice television series. But most particularly, I want to ask about your relationship with Miss Yu Yu. And did you find it difficult Portraying somebody who is still alive. I'm very interested that you chose to blend the story of her personal life and the story of her professional life. And I think it made the program better because of the two things together. So my question really is, is tell me, do you think, are there great differences in how Chinese directors or Western directors would have approached the same story. Uh 更强调的是集体主义是,对个人的个性的强调是不够。I think Western audiences are very impatient. They want speed. They want things to happen very quickly. And I think um, Chinese directors particularly are more considered. The story stretches over a longer period. The pace is slightly slower. The cut rate is slower. Do you think that that would work for a Western audience that is very impatient for the story to happen very quickly? We also need to change our I agree. I think a, a wonderful story can be told in lots of different ways. 
And I think that is the beauty of having, of working in the creative world where stories travel around the globe and they can resonate to different audiences in different ways. I'm interested really now in the fantastic studios that China has built and a lot of Western directors want to film in China. Um, is that still growing in China? Are you still building more studios? 我觉得这应该呃呃张开呃我们的怀抱哦欢迎人家来因为能够带来不同的创作的呃想法和创作方式呃在这个里面互相借鉴能提高我们的这个影视创作的这个水平也了解呃国外的影视创作的一个需求中